Ursula Brakate and welcome to Roots TV. I am your host, Ayan. Joining us today is Chris from the Edmund Rice Centre. Welcome, Chris. Thank you for having me. For those of us who aren't familiar with the good work that Edmund Rice Centre does, could you please explain what you guys do? Sure. The Edmund Rice Centre provides uh, alternative education and community development for humanitarian entrants, refugees and migrants. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, dealing with families from overseas who have left their young ones, um, usually families, what would you say is the challenges that they face? Um, I think uh, the biggest challenge, al although um, finding housing, uh, learning the language, um, getting children enrolled in school, uh, they're, they're important issues. But I think one of the biggest issues, particularly for women, is leaving their families behind. Uh, leaving the communities behind. Uh, they come to Australia and they've found houses that are out in the suburbs um, where there's n they're not close to anyone they know and I think it's often a sense of isolation. Mm. You have a very good point there. Uh, you seem very interested in um, communities that you work with. How did you get involved and what inspired you? I think uh, I'd, I've always been interested in learning about people from overseas and, and working with people from uh, particularly from refugee refugee backgrounds and uh, just diverse backgrounds, and uh, I decided I worked in the bank for 20 years, and then I thought, no, I don't want to do this anymore. I'd rather work with families. Realised that I would have to get some kind of qualification, so I went to uni as a mature age student, did a social a social science degree, and from when I <coughs> excuse me when I started the degree, I also began. Um, volunteering at the Edmund Rice Centre so I could get some experience and learn about the people I'd be working with. And uh, when I uh, graduated, I got a job in settlement services working um, for Centre Care, providing uh, a settlement service for newly arrived refugees, which was a wonderful experience, meeting yeah. people from the plane and helping them settle in. Mm, that sounds very interesting. Uh, dealing with communities again, um, how would somebody, uh, the Edmund Rice Centre is very vocal in the community, how would we be able to find out about the programs that you guys run? Well, we have a website mm -hmm. which is uh, ercm.org.au mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're in Mirabuka between uh, Malal Express and Big Boys mm -hmm. so everyone from, particularly from the African communities know where we are. Oh, yep. uh, and you can come in, have a look around, have a look at the programs, uh, uh, enrol in a program, um, or just have a look and see what we do. Mm. Do you guys have any programs running right now that you'd like to let our viewers know about? Yeah, well, we run five classes uh, a day mm -hmm. uh, for English, um, and we see about 250 people a week. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have programs for, for women, uh, craft and cooking, uh, we have a, a driver education program, a subsidised driving program, housing uh, support program, we have a life skills for living in Australia uh, and we have an extensive s youth and sports program for not only called children but Aboriginal children as well. Mm. Well, that was very interesting. Thank you for joining us today on Roots TV. You're very welcome, thank you for having me.